guys. Hey. Okay. Like yeah. Who are you? Just like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. My name is David or Dave. Okay. I am 57. I am Lexi's dad. Okay. And uh, I live uh, right up above. Right here. Yep. Okay. So where are we are right now? We are out in front of Lexi and two guys apartment. Like California, right? Oh, California, California. Yeah. <laughs> you can't say your apartment number two day. Yeah. <laughs> you can't say, believe me. Yeah, set no. gifts to one, two. <laughs> okay, who are you? My name is Tosi and I'm type three. I'm Nigerian and okay. I've only been here for like Three weeks. I'm new here. Oh really? So yeah. So you born and raised over there? Yeah, Lagos born and bred Nigerian. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's perfect. Good match, guys. Right. Yeah. So who wants to start tell story? Your story, guys. He's gonna you? lie. So oh, okay. Think <laughs> it's gonna be like, oh, she was after me and all that. So we met on Tinder. Oh. Like 2020. Yeah. You met on um, Tinder? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because you are in California. Right. You were in Nigeria. Yeah, right. So how you match? Yeah, well, I'll... I think it was during the pandemic and Tinder was giving out free passports to swipe around the world. Oh. You know. So somehow <laughs> we just matched. <laughs> somehow we just matched and we started talking for a few weeks. And then we moved it to WhatsApp and so far, so, here we are, two years later. So you know people have so many like bad or weird stories from like a social media dating or right. something. Right. So how you trust each other? How Because you guys are living really different countries right. and, and but you really like each other and then you move your talks on WhatsApp. So how you see each other or how you start to say, okay, so she's my soulmate or he's my soulmate? Yeah, well, I mean, it is hard in the beginning to have that trust uh, just because of everything you hear about dating apps and <laughs> catfishing and all those kinds of things. You know, but everything seemed pretty organic and um, she was sharing things with me that was obvious that this is who she was and things like that that's important but you know you still like you never never know until you can meet in person okay. so you know i think what maybe two or three months after we had met online i flew out to nigeria no i think it was, was like it longer six months. or six months okay there can i ask something can you be honest or even more? um i don't know if okay I can be honest have you not. have you ever date anyone before from social media or tinder or kind of no, bad apps no you don't have any experience no how about you? Yes, I have. So it was good or not? Yeah, mostly good, yeah. Okay. So Dave, when you see her first from like a WhatsApp calls or WhatsApp video calls, what did you feel? But be honest, I know you're a kind of shy person, <laughs> but you can say something, you know? Because I know you are really emotional too. So when you see her like from like a video calls or some or FaceTime calls, right. how did you feel? What did you say? It shows proof that this is who like she's real she said like... she was yeah you know so i mean i think that was just like another assurance that <laughs> i wasn't being catfished she wasn't being catfished <laughs> right yeah exactly okay dave and tosin how did you feel when you see each other in a person who wants to start um well i mean like for me it was just you know a big relief yeah uh to finally you know like see her and then it's you know when i saw her she was in the back of the uber picking me up at the airport oh really yeah and so <laughs> you still just I don't was like jump in jump in you can't stop here <laughs> <laughs> you're uh, too blondie <laughs> yeah so but i mean it was you know like in my mind i'm going okay what's it going to be like when we finally yeah meet and stuff like that you were nervous yeah, I was nervous. How about yeah, you? Excited and nervous, um, right? I was ex I was happy, but I wasn't nervous. He was more nervous, but I tried to like you know calm him down, make him feel relaxed, like we met a long time ago. Okay. You know, and yeah. which he actually got over his nervousness like five ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so yeah. It was well, good. I thought it was 
quicker than that, but no, but no, she <laughs> did. She was calming. Okay. And I mean, I was, you know, flying into a new country, having to go through immigration. Yeah. And that kind of took a while. And yeah. She was being impatient. Hey, where are you? Where are you? You coming out yet? Coming out yet? But it's no. It's just like once I got in the back seat with her, you know, I think we had a kiss, and then uh, you know, she was. <laughs> we'll kiss first. She was, we'll you know, like day. rubbing my arm, and she was like calming me down. She Aww. was, <laughs> you know, she was, and no, and that felt, I mean, that just felt reassuring and good. Yeah. It's like, okay. So who kissed first? I can't remember, to be honest. You don't remember? No. Hey, no. tell some please. <laughs> Woman can remember that. I can't remember. I think it was Probably just, mutual. Yeah, it okay. was mutual. Okay, so do you guys believe to love at the first sight? I don't know about that. Did you feel when you see her first? Well, it wasn't like we met somewhere in public and saw yeah. each other and it's... Like, yeah. You know, we've been talking for like the span of like seven months, so we've seen each other on video calls a lot, yeah. you know. Seeing in person was like, oh, you look the same, you know. You look but so did you feel like love at the first sight you know what i'm saying people say wow this is this is gonna be my future you know what i'm saying right. stuff like this right yeah i'm not sure it was like i think we were like already like we no, had like isn't. feelings for each other mm -hmm. but seeing in person is like a bit different you know so we just like okay let's just see how this goes let's take our time you know and right and i mean i kind of wanted to play it like down a little bit okay and didn't want the first trip out there to like over commit and yeah. like all this kind of stuff that generally people end up doing yeah, yeah. i was like i'm not going to make any life decisions or things like that the first time first time there i wanted to leave head back home and then see like okay am i like really missing her and things like that and turned out i was <laughs> so i mean it's, he, he's so sweet today right yeah wow oh, so, babe and so i knew i mean i honestly i wasn't 100 percent sure while i was there yeah just because i wanted to experience it and get away and then kind of you never know that maybe she could be fake fake account you yeah, know yeah exactly i i watched some netflix documentary yeah some girl met someone from new york and then she just visited him and he wasn't there yeah. wow. you know yeah. he just used a fake account or something wow. so can you imagine if you go like different country oh, yeah. and i don't show up you know you know you know she right. doesn't show up and you just back oh that thought crossed my mind y you know what i'm saying so yeah he actually said i, um, I hope you show up <laughs> you know but i mean so, it was still worth the risk of yeah. so out if there. she doesn't show up <laughs> then what do i do well yeah what you gonna do today uh, <laughs> let's say you you i mean i would kind of like make a joke or something here but i'm not going to <laughs> don't cry uh, <laughs> believe it no no i was no i don't know what i would have done to be honest okay perfect i don't know so how long have you been together two years two years Okay, so when did you decide, guys, to get like a living together? Well, I think after the. Okay, pause it. Hey, hey, you can go. You can... Yeah, the managers. Okay, it's traffic you right know, now. Uh, if Harold's gonna. I didn't even respond to the text yet. Let me, no. let me text him. Okay. You, you wanna say hi, Turkey? Hi, Turkey! <laughs> <laughs> so, when did you decide to live together, guys? Well, I mean, I think after. I got back after the first trip. How many how many times did you visit her? Three first. times. Oh, three times. Yeah. You I flew to Nigeria three times. Really? Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, how long it takes to Nigeria from here? Too long. Um, depending on the airline you fly. Okay. Uh, the best is flying Delta. Okay. Because they stop in Atlanta and then Atlanta to Nigeria. It takes maybe one day, um, right? Like 20, 17 hours. No, like 23, 21 hours. No, you can, no. Like, it's like for me, it was like 20, 21, right, 23 Right, but that hours. was a different airline. So you spent almost three days 
to see her in the plane, right? Well, like no, a 24 was, hours. The longest, longest time was like 27 hours. Really? So just over a day. You spent 27 hours to see her? Yeah. Wow, that's crazy, Dave. Yeah. That's really good. That's, you are really a gentleman. That man. is dedication. Yeah, he does. He deserves <laughs> hugging right now. He I'm, he deserves the hugs. One in a million. He deserves the hugs right <laughs> now. <laughs> And I came back. Okay. We started talking about, well, I mean, if we want to get married. Okay. You ask then, her or she asked you? No, I didn't really remember per se propose. Okay. You know, so we just talked about if that's where we think this is headed. And if that's the case, we should try and get her out here on a K-1 visa. Yeah. So that's been in the works for like a year and a half. Okay. So um, what did you guys in this process? Did you travel somewhere? Or? Well, no. While we've been waiting for that, I returned to Nigeria the second time and then stayed there a month and then came back home and was hoping, okay, I'm not going to have to go back, that the process would you know speed up yeah. but that wasn't the case so lastly we decided to meet in dubai oh really yeah. did you guys were in dubai yeah. together yeah. oh <laughs> how was it dubai it was, it was fun really yeah. it was my third time in dubai so really yeah. oh you love to travel too yeah i i know i know he, he told me so how was dubai with for him, him it was like what he wasn't expecting dubai to be that way he was thinking it was going to be like some sort of restriction okay you know but i told him you know dubai is like a free like a free city you know yeah i know you have to show respect of course to, yeah. to locals but you know you can wear can dress like this you know you don't have to i don't have to cover my head i know you know you can do whatever you want stuff like that yeah and it's a beautiful city okay so you were in dubai and travel all nigeria right right from dubai then we both flew to nigeria oh and when we were in nigeria uh the last time we got a notification that the visa process has moved on to the nigerian consulate, consulate. oh that's really so good then, so then we realized okay this is going to be his last trip. pick up space pick up yeah. pace <laughs> that's yeah. really good guys it's yeah. really cool i think it's an amazing story for you so i know you are not married right now you're gonna be but how is the how do you feel to date someone right. from different culture or country right now um i mean it's nice i mean there's obviously a few cultural things that are a little bit different but not drastically different i don't think yeah. what do you think um how is the, the difference Nigerian like, guy with American guys? I've seen like a lot of American movies. <laughs> <laughs> he has not seen any Nigerian movies, so I kind of like Only understand, people. you know, some things, you know, so it was not very shocking, like the cultural difference, not like a lot, you know what I mean? Yeah, but what is the most differences between American and Nigerian guys? Uh, I think. <laughs> I don't, I'm not sure, but I think Nigerians like they are a bit like judgy. Okay. You can't really be yourself. Yeah. Around them, you know, and of course, like the culture with Nigerian is different from you know how. I really don't know how to put it together, but. He's kind of more nice or more like Nigeria, emotional Nigeria and not so. Nigerians can be nice. Okay. They can be nice, but maybe you know, controlling. yeah, maybe you know, bossy, <laughs> you know, or like you have to have like a role. <laughs> like Turkish like, oh, guys. You're like, oh, you're like the cook. You have to be in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but like for him, you know, we could share like duties. Yeah. You know, he could cook. I could wash. You know, but like right. Nigerians, like you have to do everything most of the time. Or if you're rich, you get the maid to do yeah. these things. Okay, Dave. I'm gonna ask you first right now. But please be honest. Well, Can you promise be honest? Okay, because this is my perfect question for you guys. Okay. Do you have plan to have kids day? <laughs> <laughs> He doesn't want any kids, but I wouldn't mind having at least one. One? You know, yeah. Girl or guy? Boy or? I mean different. A child is a child. Yeah. You know? Da -da -da -da. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks it's too old. Um, yeah, I, I mean, think. there's a selfish part of me mm -hmm. that... You already have two kids? Wouldn't have a kid. Me? Me? Um, me first and the other one is doing workout <laughs> right. inside? 
Right. So yeah, so I think age does play a part of it. I know you love kids, but you are thinking sometimes maybe you are kind of old to have another kid. Yes. Yeah. And I think maybe it's going to be like a bit weird, especially the age gap between Nikhil yeah. and Lexi. Yeah. You know. Yeah, but anyway. maybe it's weird already. I'm going to be like your step mother in law. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so. okay, so. you have plan, but you are not sure. Yeah, I'm probably most likely not. Okay, but, but this is the God's plan. I, I mean, you never know. Yeah, yeah, it happens, you know. I mean, if it, if it were to happen, I would not be like devastated or... Divorcing? <laughs> People say divorcing or something? Oh, I, that wouldn't... Yeah, abortion, no, that would never okay. be an option. Yeah, he's getting belly. Okay, Tosun, I'm gonna ask you first. What is the most you like the things about him? And also, what is the most you really hate or unlike about him? It's like the kindest person ever. Okay, Dave? It's yeah, it can be sweet. Maybe sometimes it doesn't really show like emotions. Like it's, you know, sometimes is 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 a shy person, but he also wants to act tough. You know, like I can't show emotion or I can be romantic. But okay. Trust me, he's like the sweetest person. Yeah. You know, and I love his hair. <laughs> <laughs> so so many Turkish people like a comment about him. He looks like Kurt Cobain. Yeah. What do you think? like some sort of actor. Except I'm still alive. <laughs> yeah, no, you're good. Yeah. You are better than him. And he looks good for his age, you know. Yeah. Maybe he was like not looking good Tell for his, his age. age. You know, maybe I would not be attracted to him. Yeah. You know, but. Dave, how old are you actually? 57. 57? And you have no white hair? Oh, then I'm sure there's a couple in there. Believe me, Turkish women will see. jealous you, not guys. Right. Women too. Really hey, do. Turkish <laughs> women. <laughs> <laughs> We're coming to Turkey soon. <laughs> Dave. Okay, what is your most unlike things about him? You can say, Dave, I wanna kill you, don't do this. Do you have like kind of that things? Well. <laughs> Okay, it's not like a crazy thing, okay. but maybe he doesn't like to tidy up sometimes and we fight about pulling the seat, the toilet seat up or down. He likes the toilet seat down, Okay. I like now, the toilet seat up. Okay, <laughs> Turkish people, American people, <laughs> all people, all women of any, of every generation, walk of life, whatever. Men are always told soilet, the toilet seat goes down. Okay. Okay. So after 57 years of being told toilet seat goes down, she's the first person I've ever <laughs> come across that wants the toilet seat up. She does not sit on the toilet seat to do her business. She just toilet seats up and she's on the pot. Yeah, but it's easy. You want it down, then after you use it, just pull it back up because I don't want it down. You know, easy. But every time I go to the toilet, toilet seat is down. Not every time. Every time. 80% I the think time. so. This is a cultural thing. Yeah. Believe me. Because no, I don't think it's a cultural thing. No, I no, think it's it just, just depends on it's your individual. It's just what she likes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Maybe. Because we sometimes we, ha we can have the same problem with Lexi. Yeah. yeah. No, but Lexi likes it down. Yeah, I just turned up. You like so. it up? Yeah. Not like it's according to my mood, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so when I when I Your when I meet goes sleep. up, I just keep like it up. Right. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know, but I just try to keep clean always. So yeah. that's my point. Okay. How about you, Dave? Tell first. What is the thing you love like, about her? Love you like about her? Yeah. Um, a couple. She's very affectionate. She is what? Very affectionate. Very affectionate. You know, wants to be close to me, cuddle. Cuddly. You know, touchy, which I appreciate. Which um, he doesn't like to do. Oh, he doesn't no, like that's, before? That's, no, no that's he not. doesn't like to. Yeah. Maybe not so much cuddling, so I don't much, know. Yeah. But you like right now, right? Yeah, yes. And then she's, you know, where she says maybe I don't tidy up all the time. She is very organized and keeps everything clean and tidy and things like that. So I know I'm always gonna have a nice house. Uh, <laughs> day. 
because that's important to her. Yeah. You know, um, and so she's always on top of it. Are you emotional right now? <laughs> no. You can't emotional. cry. <laughs> she, no. You almost cry her. Why would she cry? Because you can't say. You're making stuff up right now. <laughs> Look at her eyes. Because you say you will have really good, like a great home with her. Yeah. It's it's kind of good words. Eh? We are kind of crying too. Ah, yeah. You guys are so emotional ah. today. I can't touch you. Okay, tell the negative things, Dave. How long do we have? Huh? How long do we have? Is it that much? Uh, yeah. Yeah. No, um, no, there's nothing that's really negative. Um, I mean, sometimes she can be like opinionated or something like that. And so like a couple times, a couple times I'll say you sound like my mom or something. But her mom is right, um, you know? <laughs> Uh, you mean she tried to manage you? Like a hey, mommy? No, I don't think she... Uh, no, I don't think she's trying to manage me. It's just sometimes because she'll be direct yeah. and doesn't have a problem saying what's on her mind, I'll take it different than how she needs it. Okay. Um, yeah, so that's, but that's not my fault, I mean, that's, right? I don't think that's really a negative thing because I always know what she's thinking. Yeah. I think so. I understand she tried to say something which is good for you, but you are taking which different way. I'm yeah. taking and then, a negative way. Yeah, yeah, so, and also you don't want she's like saying right. something like your mom. Yeah. Even she's right. Yeah, exactly. Right. Right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We all have so problem right um, now. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I can't really think of anything okay. negative. Perfect, baby. Perfect. <laughs> Except she's vain. <laughs> yeah, Except she's vain. vain. <laughs> okay, so the last questions, if you want, you can talk about your process, guys, because she was in Nigeria. Right. You can just watch camera. You were you were in United States here, and then how you grab her here? Because it takes long time, and then you wait here. You guys pay tons of money. So how is the process? Maybe there is someone who watched this video wants to do same thing. Maybe you know what I'm saying? Because right. they can date someone from different country. So can you tell about the process? Your process well, a little bit. I mean, for me, being an American. Okay. I mean, there's nothing I have to do. Okay. So. You know, yeah, but no, you but, have to like file okay. like a petition well, okay. to bring, you know. Right, but I mean, me. okay. what I was going to say is I'll let her yeah. talk about all this because, you know, you're the one that really had to okay. follow the process okay. and, and really understand what the What was, was the process? How yes. she can approve here? It's off. No, it's not off. It's just saving battery. Oh, okay, so the first step is for the for him okay. to petition for me to come to the US. Okay, what is the name of this pro pro process? What people say that? Like a marriage or what well, is Well, this that? was a K-1 K-1, okay. Yeah, so he applied, okay. but I think he used like the service of I don't want to say she's an immigration lawyer. I don't know. No, she she was our lawyer. Yeah. Okay, she's kind of immigration. She knows this so these things, yeah. We use that service because we don't want to like make any mistakes because you know sometimes you read things online, then you try to apply it and it's like you're digging and digging and digging and you know, we just didn't want to make any mistakes. Okay. And he was too lazy to fill any forms. Okay. He was That's like, true. you know, yeah. let her just do it. <coughs> So that was the first step. And, okay. You know, we got like the first notice of action, and that took like a long time. Trust me. How long? I'm not really sure about nine, ten months. Yeah. Whoa! You just wait something? Yes, we and we started, yeah. and because of the pandemic, I believe that there was a lot of backlogs. Oh. Uh, really a lot of people are trying, you know, to apply for the same thing. Okay. So there was like a lot of backlogs. So so we got like the first notice. Of, notice of action okay after like nine months and after then we had to like wait till like 20 i think things started speeding up like this year yeah. almost two years and, yeah because i didn't really have to do anything yeah the first time he did most of the thing or the lawyer did okay so when he was in nigeria we got like uh like an email mm -hmm. you know like i need that was the time that we needed to like apply for the visa itself okay because the first time was just the petition okay and then i needed to like apply for the visa so i needed to like do the runarounds get gather the documents you know i went for the interview for okay the medicals yeah you know oh you do you did all process in your country right yes, in nigeria because okay. they, they, we waited 
a long time after the first notice of action okay. for them to send my documents to the Lagos Embassy. Oh. You have to wait for them to send it oh. to the country. So you didn't marry it? He he does everything here and then they sent you everything when you get yeah, approved. Because if we got married, because we are thinking, oh, it's taking a long time, he's like, oh, let's just get married somewhere. Oh. You know, but I was like, if we did hey, that. Hey, I know this. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, if we did that, then that would jeopardize the process because you're not supposed to get married outside the US when you are on a K1. Okay. You know, you have to get married here. Okay. In the US. That's the that's the rule. Is there any time to get married or they gave you one year or two years? Well, when you get your visa, okay. after the interview, you get your visa. Okay. They give you a yellow packet. I oh. believe the yellow packet has like all your details, your medicals, everything. They give you to you sealed. Okay. You are not allowed to open it okay. until you get to the US and you hand it over to the immigration. Okay. So when you get your visa, you have like 90 days. 90 days like yes. three months three months to get married in the u.s okay where are you gonna get married guys <laughs> we have no idea <laughs> new married is coming soon guys i'm yeah. gonna record it too um arizona or california maybe at malibu next to malibu. um possibly on the beach i think yeah. would the be nice. nice you want to marry it like a place which is Las Vegas or more natural? No, no, no. Las Vegas seems like um, something not real, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, yeah, maybe on the beach would yeah. be nice. Yeah, Dave loves beach too. Yeah. Like ocean. Yes. Or even that, uh, the I yeah, where we went, I came, like the top where you can, like the background has like Run a in. city. Oh yeah, you know that's like nice too. But ocean will be really good for you guys, believe yeah. me. So thank you so much for everything. You wanna add something for your future, or do you have really good news for us, or you wanna say something? Yeah, well, maybe you're not. when we start our own YouTube channel, because we don't know. We this is like our first time on okay. video. We are both camera shy, yeah. but we are thinking of starting. Oh, she's camera shy. Obviously, I love the camera. Yeah, yeah. So. he's getting better. Look at so, this. Yeah. yeah. You know, People know say you know from yeah. Turkey. So you want to say you want to say some Turkey day? So you will have Sharafe. Sharafe. Oh yeah, I Sharafe. is meaning cheer. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. We love <laughs> we can you go. Turkish people. Hey. <laughs> Turkish people will love you guys, yep. okay? Yeah. All right. Okay, thank you so much for everything today. You wanna yeah. come with us? <laughs> people are asking you and people say, where is Lexi? Please, this look at my face looks so fat. Uh, Don't film me at that angle. Do, do, you need, do you need Botox in Turkey? Honey. Please, say Can something. Can you show a different angle though? Okay. Oh, you look so beautiful. Can I see this on you? Yeah. This is what Dave's like. You should open the door every night like this. Yeah. This is what she's going to wear at the wedding. <laughs> what? Hey guys, so I am with Dave and his wife today. So we're going to close the video from California, Los Angeles. We love you so much, guys. Love if, you. Uh, if you like this video, please comment me and comment maybe. Follow two gay, subscribe. <laughs> Say my name again. Say oh, mine. Two guy. Two guy. <laughs> not two, guy, not not two, two gay. gay. <laughs> I'm just. Subscribe, <laughs> comment, share. And and please like this video. We love you so much, guys. Have a good one. Bye. Bye. Bye.